Whoa, do you feel that? What's that, lad? Anything, everything. It's warm. We can probably use this boat. If I can just get it free. Careful, lad. Ah! Why are these things so fast? I see we're already off to a lively start. Atreus, you dropped your guard. I got the boat free, though. We can head through these channels when you're ready. What's the chain in the water for? That'd be a dwarven supply ferry. Said ferry appears to be missing. Huh. I still can't believe Mom led a whole rebellion here against Odin and never talked about it. The fact that it didn't go well might have covered that notion. What your mother did before we met was her business. Did you ever ask? Eyes on the water. They are resources. If you never asked Mom about what she used to do, what did you talk about when you met? Like, did you just say... Woman, guard the house. I will go to catch fish in the river. And then leave for five days? No. Your mother was far better at fishing than I. Did you see that over there? <laughs> that wheel is blocking the channel. I imagine if you can turn it, we should be able to get through. So these are wetlands, huh? It's pretty accurate. It is a bog. The smell is making my eyes burn. You know what is a fair bit more potent than when I last visited, now that you mention it. was a friend to the Giants. I wonder if he and Mom ever met. If he was a part of the rebellion here. It's certainly possible. The God of War often advocated for the Giants. 
Although I don't recall if he ever declared allegiance outright. Come on. There's got to be a faster way to get down there. Okay, there's got to be some way to turn the wheel up here. Well there! Give a man some warning if he's about to suddenly end up snout deep in cheek. The ground. Was that an earthquake? Hmm. An occasional but not unheard of happenstance in Sparklefine. With all the mining gear, the land's bound to be a wee bit bothered. Oh, wow. Nice job getting it to lower exactly where we need it. I was thinking, maybe it's so warm. Maybe it's not that the cold hasn't made it here yet, but maybe it's just different in Spartalfon? Aye, lad. Fimble Winter doesn't strike all realms quite the same way. Hear that Fimble Winter doesn't always make it. Winter. In Midgard it does, but as you can see, the effects here appear far more gaseous in nature. Observe the geysers. Observe the aforementioned aroma. These effects were present before in some form, but now there's new extremity to them. Looks to be an artifact from the Dwarven Resistance. Frayed Mars Brasser, father of a few dwarves you may be well familiar with. You may be interested in getting these back. Better in his hands than out in the open.
Think we can fit under that bridge? Hey, father, up there. Find anything good up there? Those geysers? Hmm. I think we need to get that wheel moving, but the water doesn't reach. Those things 
are everywhere. Yes! The wheel's moving and the gate's coming down. That's more of an ingenuity for you. Back to the boat. of this realm are anything like Brock and Sindri. It's hard to imagine them siding with Odin. Well, all too often people are blinded to all but their immediate self-interest. Odin offered them safety, and defying him can be quite dangerous. Maybe they just need a couple of gods to come along and take the fight to him. Atreus, that is not why we are here. I was only joking. War is not a joke, especially where gods are concerned. as an ally for war. I just... I'm trying to keep our options open. Let's just keep moving. I'm glad we're out here, exploring a new realm. Maybe we could just try to enjoy the warmth? Looks like we gotta find a way to open that gate if we want to get to Nidavalir. Halfway there. There's got to be another chain to lower the rest of the gate. You can uncover that guy from here. Oh, I think I get it. If you freeze the geyser, the pressure will turn the wheel. Nice one. What about freezing the guys that are under the wheel? Maybe. <laughs> That's one of Cavassier's poems. Very highbrow. You should collect any others you find.
Vlad, if I may. What exactly are you hoping to learn from Tia? Well, like I said, I was hoping he could tell me something about Loki. I'd also like to hear some of his stories. Traveling to other lands, giant stuff, and maybe about what it was like to fight back in the day. Just for the history, obviously. History? <laughs> Let's hope Tyr's in a talkative mood after being in prison for so long. Not all of Odin's captives can be as charmingly voluble as myself. We have no proof Tyr is truly here. Right. That earthquake... Earlier. You think there will be another one? It's unlikely, but geological disturbances tend to be unpredictable. If the geysers and smell here are worse because of Fimble Winter, maybe the earthquakes are too? Aye. You might be onto something, lad. Atreus, look ahead. Wow. Now this looks like a city. Welcome to Nidavellion, brothers. Hey, dwarves! Oh, they're, uh, running away. An alarm. I'd only sound an alarm like that if I still had my body, and was fearing the notion of being detached from it. Why all that for us, though? They are scared. Most definitely an alarm, I'm afraid. Why is everybody hiding? Stay alert. Talk to you for any trouble, please. There'll be no help, to be sure. Best we find the tavern Sindri mentioned on our own, and hope they let us in. <laughs> <laughs> 